undefeated WBC American heavyweight champion Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder has Tyson the Gypsy King Fury living in fear and rooting for his rival countryman Anthony Joshua. Stay tuned. Here's why coming up next. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. Y'all watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. Watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, Alas Cindy, está viendo Deportes TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, undefeated British lineal heavyweight champion Tyson the Gypsy King Fury isn't fair that undefeated WBC American heavyweight champion Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder could possibly face a uh, Mexican unified heavyweight champion Andy Ruiz Jr. Should Andy Ruiz Jr. be successful in the rematch uh, as he takes on former unified British heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua um, in November. Uh, Tyson Fury is in fear that the possibility Andy Ruiz Jr. wins this fight, that would be a disaster for Tyson Fury because then Deontay Wilder would then put off a future fight that Tyson Fury announced that they signed contracts for a February 22nd date uh, would be in limbo or just flat out not take place because Deontay Wilder would then turn his attention to Mexican Unified Heavyweight Champion Andy Ruiz in order to have an undisputed bout. This all um, would have to have so many other things take place. Like we would have to have Andy Ruiz Jr. beat Anthony Joshua, obviously, in the rematch. Uh, we would have to have Deontay Wilder beat Luis King Kong Ortiz. It looks like that fight is going to take place in November. So it looks like Deontay Wilder and team are, um, are scheduling their fight with Luis Ortiz around the same time that Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz are set to fight, right? Um, this seems like they could be set to and focus on possibly having a unification, uh, undisputed bout with Andy Ruiz, as Andy Ruiz Jr. is with Al Heyman and the PBC as well, right? So that means that it would be uh, very, very easy to make a fight, an uh, undisputed heavyweight fight between the two. Deontay Wilder and Andy Ruiz were on the set um, for the pay per view, Fox pay per view showdown between. Keith One Time Thurman and Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao, right? Uh, where Deontay Wilder expressed how excited he would be to have an undisputed bout with Andy Ruiz Jr. He said that that just makes him so excited, right? Uh, just the the mentioning of it, both of these guys were um, were were enjoyed. Obviously, you know they have to get past their respective opponents. Anthony Joshua is not going to come in and lay down for Andy Ruiz. Neither is Luis King Kong Ortiz for Deontay Wilder. But this puts Tyson Fury in the pickle, right? Tyson Fury now is looking and is desperate for Deontay Wilder to face him in the second half, in the uh, first half of 2020, right? But now he's going to have to root for Anthony Joshua to be victorious because if Anthony Joshua is not victorious, Tyson Fury is out of the loop for the foreseeable future. Because let's just say Andy Ruiz and Deontay Wilder do fight. Let's say they decide to fight on February 22nd instead of Deontay Wilder facing um, um, Tyson Fury. Guess what? I'm certain that in, in whoever loses is gonna have an immediate rematch clause. Because now Andy Ruiz Jr. has a, a situation where he has to go, um, they're trying to force him to go to the UK to rematch um, Anthony Joshua, which he does not want to do, right? But in the same token, he's gonna learn from this, he's gonna learn his lesson from this situation. And when he goes into a fight with, uh, and should he be victorious against Anthony Joshua, that means he would have defended his unified belts. So that means when he goes in uh, uh, his um, negotiations with Deontay Wilder, he's going to exercise his rights. Right. He's going to say, listen, I know my he's going to have his own stipulations and demands, which one I, I'm sure almost certain is going to be an immediate rematch as he's the unified champion. And I'm sure Deontay Wilder is going to have the same types of stipulations and 
clauses in the negotiations for himself. So guess what? Tyson Fury, you may not see Deontay Wilder or Andy Ruiz Jr. winner, specifically Deontay Wilder, until late 2020, if not 2021. So you may have just overplayed your hand, overplayed your cards, right? When you had the opportunity, instead of Deontay Wilder facing Dominic Brazil, this should have been Tyson Fury. But Tyson Fury chose to go a different route and say that Deontay Wilder needed him. And the cards are unfolding in a manner where Deontay Wilder no longer needs Tyson Fury. And let's say Deontay Wilder beats Andy Ruiz Jr., right? Let's see. Let's say everything goes according to plan. And Deontay Wilder beats Andy Ruiz Jr. Has a rematch and beats him again. That means Deontay Wilder is the undisputed heavyweight champion. And now Tyson Fury has to succumb to all his demands and his negotiations and his stipulations. Right? Anthony Joshua would be left out in the cold. He has to rebuild himself. If all if this all comes to fruition, that means Anthony Joshua lost to Andy Ruiz Jr. twice and he has to rebuild himself totally. So he is out of the picture. Deontay Wilder would then be the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. And Tyson Fury is left out in the cold until 2021, maybe 20, late 2020, depending upon how they schedule Andy Ruiz Jr. Deontay Wilder fight. The first fight could be in February. The second fight could be, let's say, in um, the summertime, in August, right? And then let's say that's the case and Deontay Wilder chooses to fight again in December, then he could give Tyson Fury an opportunity. But I'm sure if he goes into two bouts with Andy Ruiz Jr., he's gonna have a mandatory, that being Dillian White, right? So it's more likely he'll face Dillian White in December and Tyson Fury will have to wait until 2021 because he overplayed his hand and misjudged the entire situation did not expect Andy Ruiz to upset Anthony Joshua, thus upsetting the entire Apple car. But if he'd never signed that big lucrative deal that he so elegantly threw in Deontay Wilder's face and said he's the man and now everybody has to come to him to top rank at ESPN, he would still be able to maneuver to have gotten a fight with Deontay Wilder. But he locked himself in. So now Deontay Wilder is easy, much easier for him to go for undisputed and then go ahead if he beats, let's say, like I just gave you a schedule, if he beats uh, Andy Ruiz in February, they rematch in August, he beats him again. Okay, he's gonna have a mandatory in uh, Dillian White, as we've seen Dillian White just beat Oscar Rivas. He's the mandatory for the WBC. So in order for Deontay Wilder not to be stripped, he's gonna have to, um, he's going to have to um, uh, uh, acknowledge and um, accept the mandatory so he could face Dillian White in December. That means Tyson Fury is out of the picture and he did. He has nobody to blame but himself. And now he's in fear. Thus, the reason why he's saying a contract has already been signed. Right. So that way he could later on say Deontay Wilder broke our contract. Unbelievable. Well, Tyson Fury, you had a chance for a 50 50 and already have a fight with Deontay Wilder, but you chose to go otherwise. So now if he chooses to take a different route. Nobody to blame but yourself. But that's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Once you hit the bell icon, click all because it's going to give you options. You click the all button. That way you get all the new notifications. Then you follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word in caps. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. The Blue Blood Sports TV, baby, from the